All right, we got a new battery from Power Queen. This is Power Queen's new mini form factor battery. Let's open it up. Their packet with their manual. You can connect four in series and four in parallel. Your bolts. You got four M8 size bolts and some caps. And there it is. I think it's pretty obvious that this battery looks exactly like the Mini from Redodo and the Mini from Lee Time. Here's the Redodo. And the Lee Time. So we've got the trifecta. We got the Power Queen Mini, the Redodo Mini, and the Lee Time Mini. You know, we've already tore down the Redodo and the lead time. So uh, watch those videos if you haven't. But they are pretty much exactly the same on the inside. They have the same pouch cells. They have the same fixture, the same structure of the case, the same BMS. Uh, there's literally no difference. The only difference is the color of the case and the stickers. I'm gonna say that's gonna remain true for the Power Queen. Let's take a look at these serial number stickers here. As you can see, the formatting is exactly uh, the same on all three batteries. So I think it's gonna be quite obvious that these these are possibly made in the same base factory. But yeah, like I said, I tore these two down and I've, I've glued them back together. I'm kind of not interested in tearing this one down because I feel like it's the same thing on the inside. If you guys want me to, I will, but these are, these are so hard to open. So let's weigh all three of these batteries. Okay, we got uh, 19, 0.8 pounds, 19.8 pounds on the Redodo, and 19.8 pounds on the lead time. So they all three weigh exactly the same. All right, so let's charge this guy up and then do a capacity test. All right, let's check the voltage and see what this guy arrived to us at. Thirteen point one volts. Very good. All right, the charger's on. Battery's charging. I'll come back when it's complete. All right, guys, the the charger turned off, so this battery should be fully charged. I want to hook up the charger once more and measure the voltage to see what voltage we charge to before it cuts off. So right now we're sitting at 13.6. Okay, looks like we almost made it to 14.2. I'll call that uh, close enough. That's pretty much the minimum you'll want these to be able to charge up to. And after some period of time, these cells uh, can balance a little bit better and uh, you'll be able to charge up to a higher voltage. Not that you really need to, 14.2 uh, is plenty. So now we're gonna set this up for a discharge capacity test. All right, so I've got the battery hooked up to this inverter. Uh, I've got my shunt so we can measure the capacity and I'm recording a time lapse of the shunt over here. So we'll go ahead and start the test. Oh, by the way, I have a heater as the load. Okay, let's turn on the inverter. All right. And we are pulling 54 amps, 720 watts. And we'll just let that continue on. And I'll be back when it completes.
So we've full, we've pulled full capacity in both the amp hours and the watt hours, but uh, we're going to continue to let it go. We're going to continue to let it go to see what it gets to. Okay, so the inverter is starting to complain about the voltage being low, so we're going to go ahead and shut it down. And we have pulled a total of 103.91 amp hours, so basically 104 amp hours, 1,324 watt hours. Fantastic. All right, so lastly, I wanted to show the dimension difference between your standard battery that we are used to and the new mini size batteries. So there's a side profile. We can see the mini is quite a bit thinner. It's a sl slightly taller. All around smaller, same capacity and lighter. So these new mini batteries are really neat. I, I really like the improvements. I like the way the, the direction this technology is going. You know, we're making it smaller, lighter. It's the prices are coming down. Anyways, I think that's going to be the end of the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.